What's going on, my friends? I hope you are well. I am fantastic. I am indeed. Let me get my camera adjusted. My apologies. Which is, speaking of camera stuff, I'll probably mention something about that here in a minute. Um, well, I will in one fell swoop about camera. On my last video, I mentioned that I'd gotten a new little camera off Amazon for 60 bucks, and it's supposed to rival a GoPro, and I'm like, why the hell not try it for 60 bucks, why not? And my thought was, I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking the same thing, is it gonna fall apart or something? Well, the camera's got rave reviews on Amazon, and I figured why not get it, it's okay. Now mine's just one of those little Chinese import cameras that are, you know how that drill is, it's a coin toss. It's a gamble when you buy any Chinese made, you know, you can kind of tell it's coming from that source because the price is like, okay, here's a knockoff. It works just as great than having to pay for the real deal. But sometimes when you're dealing with electronics and cameras, you just, you can't cut corners like that. And you know, guys, the new Hero 7 GoPro is 250 bucks. Just spend the money. I sent that camera back because when I, number one, when I went to plug it in, it would not even see or made up. MacBook Pro would not even touch it. I said, well, there's strike one. I didn't even get the strike three before I knew we're done here. The it, two, but two, it wouldn't, the camera wouldn't format or set up the, the micro SD card, but yet it recorded on it. And it would only made up with a Windows PC. Now I don't use my PC anymore. I have a tablet PC Hewlett Packard that I've had for years that I used for business stuff years ago. I just don't touch it anymore. now. It's made me think that I think I'm gonna eventually get me another one of those Hewlett Packard tablets, a newer one, just to have, but I just don't have any use to be, I use Mac so much and I'm fine with it to be using a PC these days. It's, I, I've just, I've evolved to Mac and I'm okay with it because I do all my music production with it and everything that I do seems like it, I love it. I have iPhones, you know, and it's not for everybody. That's okay, that's a difference conference subject in a different debate people can debate all day you know my thing is if it works for you who cares you go what works best for you but I've got a, a GoPro Hero 4 I mentioned that in the last video that I'm just gonna use that you know a little bit sometimes and, and I love video video with my iPhone my thing is I just need to have that camera charged so if I need to free up my iPhone I'll use that but it, it was a I tried but number three on that camera when I went to, to click record it wouldn't focus, it was so dark, and it was something going on with the exposure. The camera just wasn't working, so I sent it back as defective, because it was. So that tells me right there that maybe I just got a bad one, but when I looked on YouTube for any information about this camera, there's only one channel talking about this camera. There's not a whole lot of insight about it, just to you know how to set it up. But Maybe that guy got lucky and got a good camera, but if you also look on Amazon, that Dragon HD Vision 3 camera, there's another Chinese brand with a different name on it, same companies making the same cameras, tacking different names on it. And that just tells you right there what's going on. So, you know, if you get one, you get a good camera, keep it working. You can't beat it for 60 bucks. But it's just, I, I, I wasn't even gonna attempt it. But I'll tell you the cool thing about it, the battery, they gave you two batteries and all those attachments. Those were GoPro attachments. It was sweet, man. I mean, GoPro didn't even give you those many attachments. So, you know, not that I would use all of them, but I thought it was pretty cool. You know, it really was. So, yeah, but that's yeah, the update on the camera. Second and foremost, I know some people make comments saying, hey, man, you know, get better dialogue and do better video quality and do some better editing. Well, I've said this before and I'll say it again if y'all could please. Don't, don't give me flack about video editing because I'm not a video editor and I don't aspire to be. I never have. I do music for film and television and if I sat down hours of the day doing video editing and all this, these big productions, it would take away from me getting work done with my music. And it would take me away from what I truly love, you know? And that's, 
it's not every channel. I've seen some good channels that are not about video editing. Turning the camera on and going with it just like this, and that's the way to do it. Um, and it's okay. It doesn't make or break it. It's all good, you know. I'm not, I'm not a video editor. Now, you will see sometimes that I will. I put my footage in iMovie, Apple iMovie, and I will add some subtitles or do some, some editing. If I have multiple clips, and I've learned to do that, some of the audio, but... You know, I don't have time for that. I'll never get any work done. So, so just know that this channel is not set up to be that. I, 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 it's it's a it's something to document travels and and about van life and RV life. And I have another channel I talk about music stuff with. Same thing. I don't do a ton of crazy editing. I do, however, would love to find a good screen capture software where I can get better quality on that. I tried OBS and it's just not setting up right. So that's one thing I do need to. To find out and learn because I will get on live and do some some music you know recording live and doing some of these uh, film and TV cues and some people want to see that and I really want to get the audio and everything set up right for that it's, so I'm kind of learning another thing with video that I'm trying to find the time to do it it's hard in fact, I'll give you the best example. There's a YouTuber I follow. He's a fellow composer. Really good talent up in Canada. His name is Marlon Gibbons. Great guy. He's having to back down on from his channel because it's taking so much time out of him getting his work done. Not to mention, unlike myself, I don't have kids. He's got kids and he's married. And it's, that's pulling on you know time with his family and getting his work done musically like myself. So it does pull strain. It's a lot, it takes a lot of time. If you have a full-fledged YouTube channel doing editing and all that stuff and other things that you want to do to get that done it does take a lot of time it really does some of you watching this you do youtube and you know exactly what i'm talking about so it is what it is but anyway all is well i don't mean to babble i'm looking to leave in two weeks and i'm still debating on whether i'm gonna hit new england on this trip or go straight up to northern michigan uh the 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 trip to New England would be me maybe going straight up through Vermont and Maine and cutting the coast of those states down through Rhode Island and in New Hampshire and hitting Connecticut and coming back across to Michigan. So we'll see. Um, I'll decide that. It may not be until I'm actually on the trip heading north deciding what I'm going to do pretty quickly, uh, calculating what I'm going to do on that deal. Um, but you'll be the first to know about it because I'm going to document it right here on this channel everywhere I go. I'm going to go see some of these national parks that I've been wanting to see, some places I missed the last trip, and we're going to have a good time doing it. So I look forward to it. I really do. But anyway, I hope you guys are well. All is well here. And I will see you guys on the next video. I've got some music I'm trying to get for a couple of publishers. And then I've got, to, I've got to, while I'm getting other music done on the normal that I normally do, that's not under uh, deadlines, i got to get ready for this trip. I've got things I've got to do. got to get this van cleaned up. Got to get it ready and stocked and some other things. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it, guys. And as always, when anything cool comes along, you know I'll cut you in. Haven't said that in a while. Be cool. Have a great one. Bye.